So we got a, a friend, Muslim friend, called Arshad. Alhamdulillah, my name is Arshad. Arshad means rightly guided. Arshad is mentioned in Quran three three hundred and ninety five times. Wow! Arshad I don't think my name is guided. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just get into the main topics. I'll ask you different questions. Okay. So, do you think Prophet Muhammad could fly? Do, I'm going to build up to the main topic, but step by step. No, could he fly? No, no, no. He could not fly. Okay, good. And so, the horse could not fly. Okay. Oh, okay. That's interesting. What do you think? Uh, we've got another very good Muslim friend of mine. So, do you know this uh, Isra and Mirage? Have you heard of this? When he went to heaven and he went to Jerusalem. Do you know that story? No, no that's, no, all, no, that's I all, forgot, all lie. I forgot. I forgot exactly. Yeah. Okay, we're fine. That is all lie. It was made up. Okay, so. Uh, I, I don't. I say the Quran, the Quran in the yes, Messiah. I read the Quran. He was able to see Jerusalem from his bedroom. So, and okay. as Rosh Aisha said, Muhammad Prophet was with me all night. Agreed. And, Agreed. He's actually very. He knows his stuff, right? Because basically, I'm going to argue that it was a dream. Do you agree it was a dream? No, no. It was not dream that Allah showed him like. A he vision. Was, he was watching television. Okay, yeah. So you can say a dream or a vision. People have different opinions. No, it was like he was a vision. A, he, he was awake, but he was watching television. Yes. He said Allah showed him. Yes. Okay. That's agree. I agree, and you're correct because you know the hadith about this. And many people don't. That many people think he literally flew to Jerusalem and he literally flew to heaven but there's a verse of the Quran that most people don't seem to pay attention to it's chapter 17 verse 93 and it says or oh, the, you know the enemies of Prophet Muhammad they said you must do this and that otherwise we won't believe you and on the list of things in the Quran it says or oh, you should have a house of gold or you should go into heaven and we will not believe in you we will not believe you went to heaven unless you send down a book that we can read and then Prophet Muhammad is told by God to say this he said holy is my Lord I am only a man sent as a messenger meaning he's not superhuman he can't fly right That's so true. we agree on that so far I agree okay and now I'm gonna ask you a harder question based on this because I'm glad we're agreeing so far it's good we're making progress okay so just to clarify just to make sure we're on the same page did Prophet Muhammad say he can't fly to heaven because he is just a man and a messenger? Do you agree? That's what he said. That's a, that is very true because it's a sensible because a no man can fly. He's not been made to fly. Only birds can fly. Agreed. So very logical. Now here's a question that... So a lot of Muslims have a problem with what we're saying already, but now we're going to make it even harder for the rest of most Muslims. So does that mean, based on this verse, since Prophet Muhammad is only a man and only a messenger and he can't fly, does that mean that Prophet Jesus cannot fly to heaven? Yeah, Prophet Jesus, was uh, he did not fly to heaven. He was raised up to Allah, alive. And it is mentioned in chapter 4, Surat Nisa, chapter 157, 158. Allah said, the Jews were boasting, we killed Jesus. And Allah said, they did not kill him. They did not crucify him. We, we raised him unto ourselves. Right. So when I said... Uh, when I mentioned this verse of the Holy Quran, it doesn't literally say fly like flapping your wings. It didn't say the method, it's just going up to heaven, right? So raised means going up in normal English. So the same situation applies to Prophet Muhammad like Jesus. If Prophet Muhammad says he could not be raised to heaven because he's only a man and a messenger, logically, because he's been so very logical so far, logically, Jesus couldn't be raised to heaven because he's also just a man and a messenger. Now, the verse that you mentioned does not say he was raised up alive. It said, it he, said was he was raised. Uh, we raised him up unto ourselves. 
That's right. Now, in the Quran, there's lots of verses, like in the bottom here. You've got a verse of the Holy Quran, uh, chapter 43, 84, okay, which says, Allah, He and He it is who is in God, who, who is God in heaven and God on earth. So Allah is everywhere, according to this verse, many verses of the Holy Quran. It says, Allah is closer to you than your jugular vein, Allah is wherever you are, many verses like this. So, it's not logically possible for Jesus to be raised to God, if God is everywhere. Do you understand the problem? With, the, with Jesus, is uh, everybody are saying that Jesus is going to come back. When he comes back, there will be nobody alive. Because America and Russia have enough nuclear okay, weapons. Okay, now we're talking about the nu they next thing. They have a nuclear weapon to kill everybody. Yeah. 340 But I'm not going to go into this one. And how can wait, anybody wait, 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 wait. survive? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, we're going to focus on the current topic. I know you have a second topic. Maybe, would you like to do a sec We could do a separate video for you for that. But be please stay on this one topic. Just okay, all right. You're very okay. good. Okay, so we'll do a video. I promised him now, so I can't go back on it, yeah? Okay, so... Uh, what we're focusing on is G did Jesus fly to heaven and according to logic based on the Quran he can't have fly flown to, or you know I'm not saying necessarily he could have used any tool but God did not make it possible for for Prophet Muhammad to fly and Prophet Muhammad gave the reason he gave two very clear reasons I'm a man and I'm a messenger Prophet Jesus salam, peace be upon him was also a man and a messenger therefore according to the Quran which is for to be would you agree the Quran is true for all time it's never going to run out of time you know for all of humanity true true only thing it lie in the Quran is what had been copied from Torah and Bible sure. and if you take out uh, Bible and that's Torah, another topic another topic uh, if you take out uh, Torah and Bible then Quran is a true book okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna respond to that one yet because it's a whole different topic <coughs> something in the air drying my throat okay so where are we Jesus can't logically fly because the Quran has some rules if you're a man and if you're a messenger you do not have an exemption to the laws of nature and he can't fly so then the question follows if he's not in heaven where is he he's in he's Jesus is in heaven and sleeping okay now the problem is I just logically explained to you that he's not in heaven because of this verse of the Holy Quran okay I mean let me just correct another thing as well um, you said the verse of the Holy Quran said that he was raised to heaven alive. First of all, it didn't say alive. Second, he was raised unto ourselves. Yes, yeah, so unto ourselves. Basically, our God, right? Right. Allah. Okay. Yes. yes. Right. So first, I, I, there's lots of logical problems. First of all, God is everywhere, according to the Holy Quran. Many verses of the Holy Quran mention one. You know, God is in heaven and earth, right? Uh, but there's many others, like God is closer to you than your jugular vein. God is wherever you are. Many verses, like God is the light of the heaven and the earth. These are so many examples of God being everywhere. So it's very strange that people deny, Muslims deny this, right? But even the word raised, right? So now we can see it can't logically mean raised to God. But I don't think the Quran is wrong. There's another verse of the Holy Quran that says, Those who remember God, Allah, they are raised to Him. Okay, I'll give the reference. I, you know, I have to Google it exactly. The, do you know the verse of the Holy Quran that says Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth? Do you know that one? Allah created everything on the anyway. In I, the universe. Okay, I'll put the reference. Right? Okay, I can't remember the exact number, but it's uh, uh, those who worship Him are also raised. So let me ask you a very simple question: When you pray, do you start flying? It sounds stupid, but do you stop flying when you pray? No, no. Uh, that's right. Now this, humans cannot fly. That's right. The animals cannot fly. Well, some birds, birds can fly. Sure, exactly. So what I mean to say by asking this question is that the same word Rafa to describe Jesus being raised, okay, is used about uh, Muslims when they pray. 
So do Muslims fly when they pray? No. So therefore that means that their status is raised. It makes sense. It's a very natural thing to say. Right? Does that make any sense? Well, Allah had revealed to me and Allah said, Mahdi will be 30, 40. He will start solving world issue. The people he'll, he'll be working with will not recognize his Mahdi. And when he is more than 50, he will rule the world. When he is nearly 60, he will pass away. Then Jesus will rule, rule the world. And what is Jesus going to rule? Okay, sidetrack, uh, sidetrack. Everybody side would be dead. Sidetrack. Okay, In now, a I don't war, agree with what you just said. Okay, I know you like to talk about nuclear war. It's an important topic, but we're not talking about that right now. Now, let me let me just try to get to the end of this so we can do your nuclear war topic, right? Nuclear war is a something second. that will happen. One second. One second, please. Um, so, if... I, okay, let's think... Let's just say, because I, I gave enough reasons to say Jesus is not in heaven, you didn't give me a counter argument. So now we're going to say Jesus is not in heaven. So, as a human being, where did he go? Any idea? Jesus is in heaven because he, he did not die in uh, Kashmir. Ah, uh, you know about oh, I know about believe. that, right. yes. Okay, now I'm going to prove to you that he did die in Kashmir from a verse of the Holy Quran. Most Sunni Muslims don't really know what's in the Quran, right? Because they're not, they're, they're not looking in the right places. So look, here's a very interesting verse of the Holy Quran that does not make any sense to Sunni Muslims according to their beliefs. It goes like this, and we, let's, I should say what, chapter 23 verse 50, okay, it says, and we made the son of Mary and his mother a sign and gave them protection on a high land, a resting place with springs of running water. Okay. That was to, was to uh, uh, Mary. Mary, she was put in a cave. She had a fruit. She had a fresh No, water. this is a different story. First of all, do you know where Mary and Jesus was in Judea, right? Jerusalem, modern day Israel. That's right. Okay, that's not a high land, and it doesn't have springs and things like this, right? In fact, in that area is the lowest place on earth. Do you know the Dead Sea? Uh, it, it is uh, the lowest place, and the Dead Sea is uh, salt, and uh, nothing grows. And it's uh, too much detail, but you're correct, right? Then the thing is, and do you think Jesus and his mother were given protection in Judea? Given that he was put on the cross, does that look like protection to you? Uh, Jesus, uh, for, he, for 18 years, nobody knew where Jesus was, so he was being protected but, by Allah. And uh, the, Jesus, uh, he uh, spent three years when he became famous and uh, he was uh, very poor, he lived on lentil, he had uh, one dress made of cotton and he had uh, two slippers and uh, he had one uh, sling catapult which he used to hunt birds. Okay, that sounds cool. I don't know how you know this, but um, I have done 40 years of investigation. Okay. And sun was never split in two. That's no, st moon was never split in two. I agree, that's just an and illusion. If the moon was, a, if it was a split in two, the world would have been destroyed. That's true, that is Because very... moon works as a break, as a break to prevent earth spinning out of control. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I know it does uh, control the tides and things, but I didn't know about that. But anyway, so, did you know that Jesus is, Jesus and his mother have graves in places exactly described like in the Quran. Did you know that? Because you said he didn't die in Kashmir, but no. Kashmir is one of those places that is described exactly like in the Quran. A high place. Would you agree that the Kashmir is a high place? Uh, with the high places, that's what people believe. Yajuj Majuj, Gog and Magog, they will camp next to high mountain which is a mountain close to Jerusalem sure. and all the Muslim will go on the mountain that means 
two billion Muslims sure. go to the mountain, yeah. and how can mount the mountain take two billion? Oh yeah, yeah. There's so, not enough space. Right. So, so you, this is just another you, metaphor. Yeah, do the Majuja lies. The Jal is a lie. That's not a lie. It's a metaphor. It's a lie. Ah, uh, come on. And can, it, okay. It, you know what? We're going to try to finish this really quickly. I'm just going to tell you very quickly, and people can make in their own conclusions, right? And then we could do our nuclear, whatever debate, right? Okay. So. Uh, first of all, why was Kashmir a place where Jesus would go? Because in Judea, where the story of the Bible takes place, the limited story of Jesus, there are only two tribes, two out of twelve tribes that he had come to see. And Jesus in the Quran, we're focusing on the Quran, but you can say in the Bible as well, Jesus is only supposed to be coming to the uh, the tribes of Israel, the children of Israel according to the Quran and the lost tribes of Israel which is actually a very accurate description according to the Bible, right? Because they were lost because they were spread all over the place. So you've done some history so you know about this, right? Okay, so Kashmir has had Jewish tribes there and we even have archaeological evidence you can say in the forms of lots of 350 Jewish uh, named towns and villages in Kashmir. It's very strange, right? So that's one piece of evidence. Uh, and also, have you, where are you from, Pakistan? I'm from uh, England. I lived here 53 years. Okay, okay. Originally do from you, Pakistan. Right, so do you know the place called Murray? I know Murray very well. It's a right. beautiful place. Beautiful place. Is and it, it's cool in the summer. Is it very high? Uh, it is high, but uh, does it have it's springs? Not, not, not high as a mountain. It's not a mountain, that's true. It's high land, right? And has it got springs and running water? It, it does, yes. Okay, great. So, did you uh, uh, Murray sounds like Mary, would you agree? No, not at all, not at all. Not at all. How do you say Mary in Arabic or Urdu? Maryam, Maryam. Maryam, right? Okay, fine. So, close enough. Murray, Mary. Very close. Did you know? Let, let me say. Let, did you? Let, let me on say. On let on me on say. On briefly. And uh, as you said that Azrat Isa is buried in uh, Kashmir. It was a, a Jewish writer called Jonathan Cream, a Jewish, in 18, 18, 1894. He said that Jesus is buried uh, in Kashmir, and because he wanted to sell his book. And then four years later, Amdi sent a person to Kashmir and he talked to the people and he said, people said the grave is a prophet Jesus. But that, that, that is a lie. That's anyway, a lie. So it's good. Yes, us Ahmadi Muslims, we do our research. So of course we send people to verify this historical information. And there's a lot more information about like the, the tomb of Jesus is unlike the rest of the tombs where he's buried in a different direction facing Jerusalem like Jewish people are. The rest of the graves are buried towards Mecca like Muslims are buried. You know like Muslims when you, you bury your head towards Mecca, right? right? That's right. But you don't bury your head towards Jerusalem, do you? When you bury Muslims? No, 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 right? no, no. So Mecca, Mecca. there's a lot of very interesting details. Even there's footprints, okay, to not actual footprints, but like basic, like a uh, out on the on the on the feet of the tomb. There's footprints with holes in it to remind people who is in that grave. And now, who has holes in his feet? Do you know anybody? With Jesus, feet, Jesus. That's had, right. He had a sleeve. He had a sandal. One sandal. He didn't. He did not even holes have in his feet. But anyway, we know and, he had holes in his feet because he was going And this hair on my forehead. Allah revealed to me, Mahdi will have a line on his okay, forehead. Nah, nah. But you're not Mahdi. And his forehead will be slightly. You say eight. some things really smart, but some things I'm not. I don't agree with. But anyway. And Allah said that uh, he revealed to me. Allah said to you. I, I think okay, let's end this video. To rule the world. Uh, anyway. And this is the sign of Mahdi. Allah said, Mahdi. Let's will end have it a, here. We'll do a nuclear, nuclear video coming up. Just pausing this one.